Thank you for joining me today on Good News with Twanda Black, where we're discovering some of the most inspiring trials to triumph stories and empowerment moments. Call up a friend and let them know it's time for some good news. Hello and welcome to Good News with Twanda Black. I am your host. It's so good to see all of you out there. Look, we talk with folks from all walks of life about their good news because really, if your brother, your sister, your neighbor is having good news, you're having good news. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my next guest. Uh, uh, joining us today, uh, David Daughtry. He is a musician, psalmist, praise and worship leader and director. How are you today? I am great. How are you? Awesome. I'm leaping. I'm leaping. It's one of my favorite <laughs> jams. We're going to oh, talk wow. about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. Okay. So um, tell us about yourself. Your mom was your musical instructor and spiritual mentor and leader. So talk about uh, growing up with that because you started singing at a very early age. Yeah, so I always, I have this little thing I say. I tell people that my mom was like Maddie Moss Clark number two. Uh-oh. So <laughs> we had to sing in the house. It was not our choice. We had to sing whether we wanted to or not. So at a very young age, we actually were her background singers because my mom is a singer, evangelist, missionary. She plays the guitar, she plays the organ. And so she taught us how to do all of that. And so that's how we got into singing. We had no choice but to sing, but to go to church. And so, of course, I'm appreciative for my upbringing because I'm still doing it now. Yeah, mama didn't play. Mama, mama did not play. play. <laughs> now, how many siblings do you have? I have one sister and she's my older sister. She's three years older than me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, and I bet in a lot of ways, I know, you know, as a kid, you hated it. But now you're like, I appreciate that so much. You know, I tell people or parents, don't listen to your children. <laughs> That's right. Because, you know, at young ages like that, we don't know what it is we should be doing. That's why we have parents to show us and lead us in the right way. Of course, the Bible says train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. So mm -hmm. I'm so appreciative for my upbringing. So did you grow up in the Kojic Church? I did not grow up in the Kojic Church. We grew up in a kind of non-denominational church. So I didn't uh, become exposed to Kojic until later, later on, mm -hmm. when I actually started going to West Angeles Church of God in Christ. Yes, yes, where you, you were the praise and worship director, leader yes. there? I was yeah. the praise and worship leader there, and now I am the assistant minister of music at West Angeles. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. How many in that choir? How many voices? Woo! So before COVID, we probably had about 200, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's always huge. Yeah, we had about 200. Of course, we had about five or six choirs, too, because we, you know, divided yeah. it up so that yeah. every choir wouldn't have to sing every week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's a beautiful, huge, full choir. I love, yeah. you know, and, and everybody's talking about, oh, choir's coming back. I was like, choir never went nowhere. What y'all talking about? Listen, I, I, I can't wait until we can get back to the, you know, the, the well, the regular. I like, I like yeah. the choir robes and on first Sunday, the choir robes. <laughs> 200 voices it just makes it seem so you know reverent and yes. celebratory you know i miss i miss that Love yes. yes 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 yeah. what's what's the toughest part about leading those kinds of choirs that are so massive but what, what's one of the toughest things about that you know what you've got to be able to deal with all personalities You've got to you 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 you've got to be able to deal with every age. You've got to be very patient. Your attitude has to always be yeah. in a good place. Yeah. Because you're dealing with many different people from many different walks of life and you are the leader. And mm -hmm. so it's on you to set the atmosphere, to set the tone for rehearsals and for the service. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Now, I saw uh, in your bio that 
Um, you graced the stage with Queen of Soul, Riri, Aretha Franklin, um, Beyonce, uh, Michael Bublé, one of my favorites. Tell me what that was like. What were oh you doing with Michael Bublé? Michael Bublé is one of the coolest cats around. I actually did a residency with him in Las Vegas in May, right before I released my record. I um, We were at the resorts, the World Resorts Hotel in Las Vegas. And so mm -hmm. I did the residency with him there. He is an awesome entertainer. He's an awesome person. He has an awesome attitude. Um, you know, he doesn't, you know, he's not extra. You know, some some oh, artists yeah. can be drama. Yeah. He, he's not extra. He's not drama. He's very down to earth. Likes to communicate with his singers. He loves to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a. I that love was a, that. You know, I felt like he was that kind of person. He um, is. I absolutely love his personality. I love yeah, him. and I've actually worked with him more than once. I'm actually on um, singing background on his new record on the song called Bring It Home. Okay. And so I've been able to work with him um, in a couple different things. Um, but um, we are singing background on his new record. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, I, I can only imagine, were you pretty young when you were singing with Aretha? You know what, it, it wasn't that long ago. It, I, well, it was probably at least 10 years ago because on this particular episode, we did the Grammys with her and B.B. Winans and they had a gospel segment. The Clark Sisters was on there, Israel Hope was on there. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, Trinity 5-7 was mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we did that episode with her. And so, of course, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, um, that yes. was an awesome opportunity to work with the Queen of Soul. Yeah. I can imagine. Oh, my goodness. And having all those other gospel greats on there as well. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Big Clark sister fan. Big Clark sister fan. We saw them here in Atlanta mm, some months ago, and they were fabulous. Yeah, yeah, they were fabulous. Now you got a chance to do some film too. Now is, was that did that just kind of fall in your lap, or is that something that you were trying to get more into? You know what? It kind of just fell into my lap. Um, of course, the I think the first film I was a part of was Woman Now Are Loose mm -hmm. with um, Bishop T D Jakes, and he actually recorded it at the church and so it was a part of the live actual church service mm -hmm. that we were having so I was able to be a part of that and then I was able to do a movie called something new um, with Sanaa Lathan and I was able to um, you know have a few parts in there and so yeah they kind of just you know uh, kind of dropped in my uh, lap uh, Kurt Carr did the um, music for the movie First Sunday with Ice mm -hmm. Cube. And so mm -hmm. I was uh, uh, blessed to be a part of that. Um, and so, yeah, these films just kind of, you know, came and of course I embraced them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so they're still playing First Sunday on, um, you know, on um, HBO or Max or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, for sure. And so, um, yeah, it was an honor to be a part of those with, um, Cat Williams, Cat Williams is so funny. It was really, really hard to sing mm -hmm. with him, with him as the choir director. That was really difficult, but um, yeah, we made it happen. Blessed Ooh. experience. That's funny. That I can only imagine. I can yeah. only imagine. Now, your your first project some years ago um, had the single, which we're still playing. We're still working that single. Um, God is great. Lee it is such a, a choir song and <laughs> has amazing energy. Tell us about the first project. So God is great. Lee was released on Bishop J. Drew Sheard and Lady Karen Clark Sheard's label, Carew Records. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, that was a, a awesome time. They heard me leading worship at the convocation in Memphis, and I was able to be an artist on their label, and so. That song came about while I was leading praise and worship on a Sunday night. It wasn't planned. It was an yeah. impromptu thing. It was something that the Holy Spirit gave us right on the spot. And so um, I started saying leap in the middle of the song and it turned into this chant. And so that song is so special to me because songs that you don't rehearse or that you don't yeah. plan to do, yeah. songs that the Holy Spirit gives yes. you, is, those are the best songs. Yeah. Through inspiration, 
Um, and so I just started singing some of those songs. I don't know what you come to do. And then I just start saying leap and everybody start repeating after me. Everybody start saying leap. <laughs> and then we recorded it and, and God blessed it. And, and it's still being played today. Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. So you're getting ready to release or you're releasing your second project. Now, did you write during COVID or how did this come I about? I did. Yeah. I did right. I actually did this whole project during COVID. Wow. And, um, it's actually already out during COVID. I didn't want to be idle or lazy. And so yeah. this was a time for me to uh, do something I don't get to do a lot. And that is get some rest. Yeah. I got some rest. I pulled out my pen and paper. I started writing. I was flying back and forth to Dallas, Texas, working with the one and only Alex Ward. Mm. And I was able to do some writing. And this project is awesome it's already out it's on all digital platforms and everything um it's got some really 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 good songs on there and it's something on there for everybody mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i love that to have something for every generation yeah and and that's what's needed actually yeah. when, you, when you do a project it's called the song book of david volume yeah. one that means there's a volume two right yeah it's gotta be a volume two <laughs> yes yes so did you collaborate with anybody do you have any duets on this project i do i have a duet with the one and only kim burrell all right and i wrote a song called everything that belongs to me and she's on there singing it with me that's another song that i wrote that the lord gave to me um coming from the scripture that says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. And so it's just a song that causes us to adjust our attitude and to go after and get what is rightfully ours, what belongs to us. Mm -hmm. And so powerful song on the project, track number three. So, and, and the one that you released is I Can't Forget. Yes. And yeah. so that is a song that's good for praise and worship teams. It's good for choirs. Once again, I took some old songs and and put some new things into it and made it a wonderful medley that's appropriate for the choir, appropriate for the praise team. Uh, it's just a, I love hand clapping, foot stumping. Yes. Gospel yes, songs. Yes. So I can't yes. forget it's definitely <laughs> a, a mood changer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other thing you want to touch on in, in, in that, in the new song book? <laughs> yes. I've got a, um, I got a really powerful song on there called Worth It All. Mm -hmm. And coming out of this pandemic, a lot of us have suffered some really, really hard challenges. And so yeah. this encouraging message that I was able to co-write on, it just simply says, everything that you've endured, everything that you've gone through, it will be worth it all. If you can just hold on, be strong, don't give up, it is worth it all. Because weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning light. The pain you feel is temporary. It will soon be over. Hold on. It is worth it all. Amen. 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 Can't wait to hear the songbook of David, uh, volume one. Yes. And uh, work that thing. Work that thing before you give us volume two now. Yes. Work it. Work it. Um, you got something coming up uh, before the end of the year or at the end of the year, right? Yes, I'm going to be with Bishop Ulmer and the Faithful Central Bible Church for their New Year's Eve celebration. And so um, I believe some other wonderful artists are coming. And so it's nothing like bringing in the new year on your knees and giving God praise. Going from 2022 to 2023 That's with right. the right attitude, the right spirit. And so, yeah, got that coming up awesome awesome now david tell everybody where they can learn more about you where they can get your music so my website is daviddartrymusic.com and i'm on instagram as daughtry david i'm on facebook as david daughtry i'm on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> uh all these social media platforms i'm on all of my music is on apple itunes um spotify google play it's it's everywhere on all um, of the musical platforms. And if you want hard copies, some people still like hard copies. Yeah. You can just simply uh, contact my website at davidjarchimusic.com. There's an email address on there that you can just reply to and we'll send you a hard copy. Wow. I mean, it's kind of funny when you think about 
where we came from with um you know cassettes and right <laughs> uh stuff came from real to real albums all of that and now you buy a car and it doesn't right. have it does. so I, bought, I bought a car last year i was like where do i see the player it was you like, gotta oh, plug in the you gotta CDs. plug in your phone or go I'm to bluetooth like, no i got cds you know how many right CDs? <laughs> right yes yeah, it's amazing that we've come to a time where Eh, no more CDs, but no more CDs. there's still people that still listen by CD. So it's good that you still have that option. I think that's important. Absolutely. And everywhere I go, I sell out of CDs. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. I yeah. said, I gotta have CDs made because everywhere I go, especially the older people, they want yes. CDs. They're like, yes. I don't know what Apple Music is. I want a CD. And I'm like, I got a CD. Right. I don't know how to work my phone, but I can put it in the CD player. Okay. Right. You. that's the thing right there i'll tell you thank you so much for joining us and sharing with us we're excited about your new project thank blessings you. on it and we will see you out there david daughtry god bless you thank you so much i appreciate it i love that if you want to be a guest on the show you can email me at twanda black at the pgn network dot org or good news at the pg network dot org watch the show via pgn tv on all digital streaming apps and platforms visit pgn tv dot org for more information or to see the shows all right on demand we'll see you next time for some good news god bless you mm -hmm.